Hi, my name is Sierra Receiver and I'm going to show you how to shoot a bow today and I'm also going to tell you how to identify um, the type of poundage and length of a bow that you have. Um, that's why I have this bow right here. I'm going to explain. Um, this is a recurve bow. Uh, up right here, the 60 right here is means that the bow is 60 inches from tip to tip. The poundage is 60 pounds and the draw length is 29. You can usually find this anywhere on recurve bows, either here or you can find it on the, the back half of it, um, but you should always be able to find the poundage. This isn't the bow I'm gonna shoot today because I am not strong enough to pull back 60 pounds. Um, this is the bow I'm gonna use today. Um, it's a, it, I don't know what brand of bow it is. We actually just found it at a garage sale for a really good price, um, and it works for me. We're guessing it's more of 50 pounds, but it didn't have any markings on it. Anyway, so now I'm going to show you how to string the bow. So see how I'm holding it here? What you're gonna wanna do is to make sure that this is on this half of your leg, um, and you're gonna put this leg through the string here so that you can use your leg as an effort to push the bow back to string it. So I'm gonna do that real fast. It's kind of a difficult thing to do. It takes a lot of, um, you know, strength to do. There we go. And that's how it should look when it is drawn. When it is strung, I mean, it's strung. Um, on the bows, it's really good uh, idea to have some moleskin here. That way it protects the wood and also protects the arrows. So give me one second and I'm gonna grab an arrow. All right, okay. So my favorite arrows to use with a um, rec recurve is carbon fiber, um, just because they're lighter, so they're, it flows smoother and it's easier for me to shoot more accurately. Now you can get wooden ones, which are also really good, but I just prefer the carbon fiber. Um, and then with my, with my bow, I don't have, you, you can get little rubber holdings right here so you can pull it back and it doesn't hurt your fingers. But for me, I don't have that on mine, so I use a little protection for your fingers. And you just put them on. It's kind of hard with my bow. Put them on right like that. That's how they go. And then that touches the string instead of your bare skin. Because it gets raw if you just do it that way. Alright, so now I'm going to teach you how to shoot it. Okay? So, on the actual arrow, there's going to be a little line nook really usually that will tell you and also the arrow the feather right here is going to be a different color to show you <laughs> anyways so then you're going to stick it above usually above the little notch right here um white arrow facing out as you can see there's two other red and little thing facing out so when you pull back you want to make sure to find an anchor spot right here. I usually, I, most people find it right here in their chin, their chin line, um, and the side of your mouth right here. So it's kind of like this. You're going to pull back, and then the difference with a recurve is you kind of, it's more of memory. You, you look at where you want to shoot, and if, as long as you've got your anchor point right, it usually should go around that area. Um, with compounds, it's different because you actually have a sight that you look through. Um, so now I'm going to show you. This is my target. It's not very far um, because I just wanted to demonstrate on how to shoot today. So this is how you hold it. You're going to wrap your, your, your hands around right here. Get a good, good nice feel there. Um, one finger on top, two fingers on bottom. Nice pose, nice stance, not like this. You won't get anywhere with this. You're gonna have like, I usually have one foot forward, 
one foot a little bit back. That's just what helps me. A lot of other people have different, but that's just how I do it. And then you're gonna And that is how you shoot a bow, or a recurve bow.